I'm Mark Bell from supertraining.tv, and I'm here with Kelly Storette at San Francisco CrossFit, and we're going to talk to you about the hip circle today. Look, Mark is, is basically forcing me to say the things I'm going to say, and so what we did is we brought in Kristen Newman, who is one of our strength coaches. She runs our powerlifting program. She's total elite. Mm -hmm. Strong like bull. She is. At Super Training Gym. She just uh, told Lee, I think he deadlifted over 400 pounds, is that right? 424. Mm -hmm. Would you squat? 319. Damn. It's okay. It's not our personal best, but it's okay. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. But also, uh, qualified for the A session in this American Open. So, if you're an Olympic lifter. So, Kristen's probably our best, strongest Olympic lifter here at the gym. And you use this thing all the time. Yes. We, it. functionally, I use it because we see that athletes don't know how to create a stable hip. Right. Creating extra rotation torque, and they don't know how to maintain that torque during movement. The role of those hip rotators is they lock off, create a stable platform off of which your adductors, hands, and quads can extend the hip. Right. So mechanically, that's what's going on, and any cue that we have to get people into a better position like that works. How do you use that? Well, I used to use a long, the large I know what's called, jump stretch bands for people to walk, but that was just a little silly. But I can use this thing, and people are actually feeling the muscles turn on, because you can tell them all day, activate your glutes, screw your feet in, but if they don't feel the muscles that they're supposed to be using, using something else, it's really hard for them to know what you're no, talking activate about. Activate more. Activate what? No, no, that area. <laughs> yeah. right. And most people have glute, hard glute to amnesia disorder. That's right. Where, where to flex, right? Exactly. And, you know, it's interesting is that uh, you can use this in a couple of different ways. You can obviously put it above your knees, and it really feels like this material feels different than the Monster Mini Vans. Absolutely. Yeah, there's something about it. But also, you know, there's some good, good evidence, actually, but putting it in your feet here, in this position, actually also allows you to create a ton of torque in the you hip. You break it, you buy it. Fine. It's weird. <laughs> I broke the band. But uh, what we've done is actually we've loaded up from the foot and the hip at the same time. And you, there's people are like, well, how does my butt stay on when I squat? Well, the glute at the top doesn't, but it does still remain well, engaged. Go ahead. No, don't, don't touch it. Oh, touch wow. it. Wow. And uh, so I think it's it was turned on. An interesting. <laughs> I'm always turned on by you, Mark Bell. So what we found is that warming up, squatting. You even have some reaction squat with it, right? I don't necessarily have them squat with it, but I do have them walk around a whole lot before and after. Sometimes I'll have them squat in the middle of a session to make sure everything's turned on. People don't understand the role of the hip and the glute, right. and the leg comes in a lot, and this is fixing that problem. Can you show us what that looks like a little bit with you walking around? Give us a little sure. demo. Yeah. Well, don't get fall the in Olympic face. shoe in there. Yeah. She's not an athlete, she's just an Olympic <laughs> give, her, give her. So I'm just walking forwards. Backwards, my favorite one that everyone whines about, just going side to side, leading with the heel. Make your butt cheeks go on fire. You know how straight her feet are, because that actually puts her in a hip into a position where it can actually work. Go ahead and monster walk with your feet turned out. That feels really strange. Whoa! And I step on my own shoes. <laughs> and she's actually a ballet dancer, so. But the, the issue is that in this position, you see that the hip is, it does have a lot right. of function. So Kristen is training the hip with its kind of peak function position. Mm -hmm. And you're also going to share the hip circle with uh, some guys down in New Orleans coming up, aren't you? Let's see, I think we are going to be at the Saints. That's right, on Friday. What's that guy's name, that guy that throws the ball with you? Drew Brees? Yeah, like something like, what, 20,000 passes or something like that? <laughs> something like, insane. It's an insane number. Fourth overall, and all time, yeah. The issue is, you know, we understand that a lot of times training beats you down, you get stiff and gristled. Yeah. Getting, reclaiming that function in a movement that actually feels like a movement is a good way of getting warmed up. Right. Sometimes it's hard to do a lot of, I have a compressed amount of time, I, I mean, I'm, I'm doing all these hip bridges and, and tricks, but we can drop this right into part of our warm up and drop it right into some of our warm up sets right. and we get what we want out of fast. You can get your hip circle at howmuchbench.net and roguefitness.com. Thanks, Christine.